Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to do a really quick video uh, talking about financial abuse um, because it's it's real. It's real and people are suffering from it and the effects, um, they can be devastating and they can be very overwhelming for people who are already dealing with abuse and trying to heal and recover from that. Um, and even if you have children, you know, just another thing to put on top of already, you know, which can look like or be an overwhelming situation. And I just really wanted to talk about my experience um, with financial abuse um, in my first marriage. Um, no, I don't touch. I have to put the microphone. You know, I keep trying to touch it. Um, and so it was 2016. I was uh, pregnant with my first um, child, and she's 13 now, about to be 14 in June. Um, was in a very abusive relationship. We later got married, but before we got married, um, I was pregnant, and he was pressuring me. He pressured me to take out student loans. I was in college at the time. Um, I think he was in college, like part time or on and off. He was back and forth, um, but I was in college full time, and I. I was against debt um, because I'd see my mom, you know, be in debt through credit card and just not having the information and being taught about, you know, financial responsibility. And I had, it wasn't myself, but I knew from her experience, debt, no, credit cards, no. And so when he told me to take out student loans, you know, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it. I, I knew it was a bad idea. But, you know, he really crushed me. Oh, well, we're having a baby and all this. And I didn't have enough sense to know being a 20, you know, 20 year old you know, child. <laughs> because at 20, you ain't no grown up. You think you're grown. You don't grow up. You don't know nothing about life. And not having a dad, not having brothers around. I had brothers, but not really in my life. You know what I mean? To really teach me about guys and teach me, you know, to be in my life, to, you know, to really check on me. So if you're in a vulnerable position like that, you know, be careful out here. You get into a relationship with men you don't know, you know, their intention with you, and you can be easily manipulated because you don't know any better. Um, and so he pressured me to take out student loans. And looking back, I should have said, Negro, get yourself a job. <laughs> you know, but like I said, I don't know better. You know, he was very controlling, manipulative, way bigger than me. Um, very big, tall, and intimidating. And, you know, I was pregnant. I didn't know what to do. And he, was, and he went in the office with me, went and did all the paperwork with me. And we took out loans. And now, you know, at this point, the loans are about like 10000 And it wasn't that much at the time. Of course, it's grown over the years because I've never paid on them. And just the thought of looking at them is just like overwhelming. And like for real, I'm like, wow, you know, and there's a lot more financial abuse he used to take you know my financial aid I'd get it he'd, it would go he'd get it he'd have it I wasn't allowed to touch it and it sounds crazy when I think about it but when you don't know when you're put in this vulnerable position of someone controlling you I literally had my big card which had five dollars on it and he'd take that sometimes not let me have that like been out of car he'd be driving crazy stuff Queen, if you're in a relationship, like, don't let anyone treat you like this. You're not a dog. You're human. And, uh, people will treat you less than human if you let them. And that's why I started this channel, just to encourage and to speak to women. Let them know their worth and their value. You deserve someone for their, their families and their wives and their children and their girlfriends. They don't, well, maybe not girlfriends, but you know what? They don't put the burden on that they're too immature to be a man. And that's what these grown boys will do out here. They will have you out here trying to do all the work, put all the burden on you. Did he take out a loan his stuff? No. Because, you know, he was older than me and he knew better. I wasn't. I'm like, okay, let's just take the money. That's no question. Because it's just when you're not thinking like that, it's like you're a child and you're listening to someone who you think is trying to help. But they're not. They're really there to hurt you. So financial abuse is real. If you're in a place like that, do whatever you can to get out. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You trying to keep your family together, but you have to live on your knees begging and pleading and crying 
to be a human, to be treated with dignity and respect. You tr- don't stay for the kids because you're teaching your children that abuse is okay. Being treated like less than a human is okay. So, queen, I've been there. If you're being abused, if a man is asking you for money, he's not a man. He's a boy. Men don't ask the women for money. Unless he's your husband, you're working together, y'all, you know, lifting each other up, and it's a healthy situation. But men don't rely on women to take care of them. Okay, I'm old school. And it should just be the school period, not old, new school. A man is supposed to provide. Yes, if you're doing it together, that's agreement. Fine. I got it. But a man should never put a burden on a woman why he doesn't do anything. Because he wants to use her and manipulate her and abuse her. Because she doesn't have knowledge and understanding and self-worth to know that that's not okay. So if you're seeing this and you're in that situation, it's not okay. It's not right. And you need to run for the hills. Because they will bankrupt you and go on with their lives and not care. And yes, it's that serious and that's real. The same person who, you know put me in debt it was the same person abused me the same person who didn't want to pay who just started paying child support last year of 2020 and is it still owes me like twenty thousand dollars of child support and still is not paying what they should be paying so don't get yourself and if you're in this situation forgive yourself be patient with yourself love yourself don't beat yourself up over the things you can't change because that will not help the situation. Love yourself. Encourage yourself. Read books. Find mentors. Get coaching. Get help. But know that you're not alone. And you don't do not never tolerate disrespect. Never tolerate financial abuse in someone who does not see you as their equal. Not above, not below, but equal. Side by side. We walk together. That's it. If you see something less and check out someone's mindset when you're dating them, what, how do you think men should be? Or how do you, or how do you think, you know, what's a, what do you think a woman's role is in a relationship? What do you think a woman, how, how, what's a man's role in a relationship? And you'll get to, you'll know their mindset because they'll tell on themselves. But don't stop. We got the time has to stop for jumping into relationships. Stop jumping into a relationship quickly. Stop needing a man for stuff. Stop putting yourself in positions to be vulnerable and taken advantage of and be used and misused by, by trying to be like, oh, I can't take care of myself. Take care of me. You better learn how to take care of yourself. Because if you were depending on someone who's toxic to take care of you, they're going to control you, manipulate you, abuse you. Okay. Be on a boat without a paddle, running downstream, screaming for your life. That is not the situation you want to be in. I know it sounds good for a man to take care of you. And when your hus- he's your husband, that's okay. And when he's healthy, that's okay. Healthy in husband. They, they need to go to him, not just husband, but healthy and then husband. And then it's okay for him to take care of you if he's shown that he's trustworthy and he's a safe person. But don't be out here putting yourself in vulnerable positions because you're going to end up having to start over. You're going to have to do it over and over again until you learn your worth, until you <laughs> never stop, until you learn your value, until you learn that you can do it by yourself. And then when the right person comes who will assist you alongside of you, who's healthy, the right person, then it's okay. But never let someone abuse you financially, mentally, or emotionally. I got to go because the kids are coming. But I love you, queens. Love yourself. God. If you've been through this situation, I'm sorry if you've been there. If someone who hurt you never said sorry, someone who hurt you went on with their life and act like they didn't care, I'm sorry, queen. But keep on. Don't give up. Get the book if you need some help in learning how to love yourself, encourage yourself, and how to have healthy relationships. That's why I wrote this series for it. It's on Amazon. It's a three-part series. Um, and subscribe and share and love yourself, queen. Love yourself again. It's gonna be okay. You can start over. My nose. Allergies, queen. And love yourself ah. again. You're gonna be okay. You can love yourself again. And love yourself again. Till next time, queens, watch some more videos. Love yourself. Get the books, and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time, watch this video again if you need to. Two, three times. Okay, bye.